How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Today I got the snap-on tools battery service flyer here that runs from November 7th through December 31st 2022 featuring battery system testers for automotive electrical diagnostics as well as battery chargers, starters, maintainers, electrical servicing tools and battery diagnostics and more. Well let's open it up and see what they got. Here we go. On one side of page two, they got their battery system testers. They got the EECS350 and the EECS150. As well as the printer that you can hook up to the EECS350. We got a little chart here on the options and differences between the two. I'll just slowly scroll down so you can see the difference and see what might suit your needs better let's check out the other side of page two snap-on's got the digital clamp-on meter I find these very useful you know you got the multimeter as well as the clamp-on amp meter at the top you know so you can check out see how many volts and look at your resistance and you can also clamp around the, the battery cable and see how many amps your alternator is putting out and what your starter's drawing. Stuff like that. Or even battery chargers, you can see what they're charging at. And scrolling down, you got their 18 volt cordless memory saver, which is definitely very handy to save your presets and all that kind of stuff while you're working on stuff. And down at the bottom, they got the 5 foot OBD2 memory cord. You got any jump starter with a 12 volt outlet, you can plug that in and the other end to your diagnostic port. That way you save your memory and don't have to worry about setting time and preset and the job gets done that much quicker. Let's check out page three. And page three, start it up. Snap-on's got their 12 volt engine starter that works with absorbed glass mat batteries. Part number on that is EEJP700. Like about this, it's got replaceable ends so if you damage the cords it's a lot quicker and easier than having to send it out to get them redone going down you got the blue point lead acid engine starters you can get a 12 and 24 volt option as well as a 12 volt here's the specs on them, both of them I'll just scroll down so you can see the difference You're going up you got the blue point battery charger and engine starter EEBC100A 200 amp engine starter available down at the bottom of the page they got some 20 foot battery booster cable set as well as a remote starter switch the remote starter switch is definitely something handy when you're troubleshooting yourself it's got a fair amount of cable so you can hook up the test leads and keep your hands away from moving parts let's check out page 4 Page four, Snap-on's got their Benchtop Battery Charger Plus on sale. Part number on that is EEBC30A12V. What's handy with this is you can hang it underneath the hood and it's also only four inches deep so you can store it in the bottom drawer of your toolbox. As well, it's got a nice display for when you're out in the sun, you can read it easily. Going down the page, you got their 100 amp flash charger, 12 volts. That one's suitable for when you're doing flash programming. You want to make sure you keep your voltage just the right level so all your programming sets in right. And down at the bottom of the page, you got their bench top battery charger through Blue Point. Part number on that EEBC61220. Pretty sure this is a rebranded one. I've got uh, something that looks very, very similar to it. This one's actually a 12 and 24 volt, but you can get 12 and 6 volt ones. Very, very handy unit. I use it all the time and I think it's a great unit. And I'm sure this is going to be just the same. Let's check out page 5. Page 5, we're getting into some smaller accessories. The top corner, you got a power strip. You got five AC outlets and two USB ports. You got a four port 
USB device charger. Doesn't really say, but I, it looks like it hooks up to the 18 volt batteries. If you know, leave a note in the comment section. Going down, you got 14.4 micro lithium USB power unit. So if you got the 14.4 volt batteries, you can plug that on and charge up all your cord your devices. And you got a little battery maintainer. I find these things super useful when you got just, you know, little batteries for small equipment, little generators. Sometimes you hook up a regular battery charger, it just puts out too many amps, you end up cooking a battery. It says here it's a little little four amp charger and maintainer. And down at the bottom of the page, Blue Point's got a four bank battery maintenance station. That's handy if you you know you're in a little bit of a bigger shop and you got multiple multiple batteries on the go. That way you just don't do one at a time. You can hook up four, walk away, and just come back once it's all done. Let's check out page six. At the top of page six. I get a battery crimp tool. Something like that's very handy when you're fixing battery cables while they're still on the unit. That way you don't have to pull the whole cable, get it on the bench and do it that way. Got some terminal cleaners. I always like to carry a whole bunch of different kinds. You know, every job's a little bit different. Each one of them might just help you out just a little bit better than the other one. And on the side of page six, you got their seven inch inline wire stripper and cutter set. I've got a set of these. I find them very, very handy, especially when you know you're working in let's say a nose box of a trailer. And you don't have a whole lot of slack in the wiring and you just gotta reach in and you know strip a wire without getting in there with your hands. Very easy to use. Just open them up. That way you can just reach in strip that little wire whereas sometimes if you got the other style you won't be able to get in there all the way at least these you can reach in and get the job done further down on the page you got the cable cutters for cutting battery cable these 5 16 side battery terminals if you're working on GM stuff very very handy to have you you know shorter ones longer ones some of the heavier duty equipment, they got wing nuts on the battery terminals, and some of them can get pretty tight. So a tool like that may help you out. Some anti-seize, battery hydrometers, and a little oiler can. Let's check out page 7. Top of page 7, we're getting into some power tools. The 14.4 volt quarter inch drive micro lithium cordless ratchets. You get the long neck ratchet with a kit which comes with a charger and one battery. You can get the long neck tool only, as well as a standard neck tool only. Further down the page, you got the 14.4 volt micro lithium cordless underhood light. Those are, are very handy. I've got uh, a different brand of underhood light. This is a super useful. You have the hood open, it'll extend, you can clamp around the hood and the lights up the whole engine bay makes the job go that much quicker and snap-ons got some chemical resistant aprons and face shields especially if you're working on industrial batteries you get some battery acid on you next time you wash your clothes it'll be full of holes and the last thing you want is getting battery acid in your face too and you gotta make sure you wear your safety glasses down at the bottom of the page they got their impact gloves those I had a pair quite a few years ago. They felt really good. They got the, like, the gel pads on the palms and the fingers. If you're on the impact gun all the time, it just takes a little bit of the shock away. At the end of the day, your just hands are way less fatigued. And they get them in medium, large, and extra large. Let's see what's on the back cover. Now, usually in the back cover of Snap-on Flyers, they got toolboxes. But this one, they got toolbox accessories. In the top left corner, you got them folding shelf for the side of your roll carts, which is handy, you know. You got your top open, gives you a little surface to have some light parts or your paperwork. 
and some uh, six piece drawer organizers some wrench holders socket holders parts trays some more magnetic parts trays and disassembly trays I usually like to keep something like that near the vehicle I'm working on all the little bits and pieces you take off you put right in a tray that way you're not going to lose them and you're not going to leave your tools on the car and they got a little magnetic hanger holds up to 20 pounds good for hanging up your jacket and extension cords stuff like that a magnetic mat some fire organizers these collapsible metal dishes or sorry magnetic dishes little magnetic bottom made of silicone as you can see here squeeze it down expand it up keeps all those little bits and pieces organized well, that's it for this flyer everybody just want to end a video by thanking one of my new subscribers Teddy Rosa thanks for subscribing appreciate everybody who subscribes to my channel well what do you think you gonna get anything out of this flyer if you are let me know in the comments section what you're going to get. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like that, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you get notified when I put new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight's video, everybody. Have a good night, and thanks for watching.